Hi, my name is Mark Baer. Welcome to Muse. We're shooting from the Museum of Monterey. My guest this segment, Susan Klusmeyer, Historic Monterey. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, I, I guess let's talk about what is uh, Historic what Monterey. Is, you know, that's the question I get all the time. I started doing this in January, and I've been trying to get people interested in being part of Historic Monterey, and there's a bit of confusion as to what it is. Most people think it's a standalone nonprofit, but that's not really it. Um, what it is, it's a collaborative, and the main partners are the City of Monterey, um, Monterey State Historic Parks, and also the Monterey History and Art Association. And what we do is we work together and I kind of see myself as the, the center trying to keep everybody together and get people interested, sharing ideas and events. All of this working up to a major event in October that's put on by um, Historic Monterey called History Fest and it's a weekend festival and it involves lots of people, lots of organizations, and hopefully this year will include a lot more from not just Monterey, but from all over Monterey County, as far south as uh, Soledad and probably up to Elkhorn and, and Moss Landing. What is the mission? Together we can make Monterey and its heritage, its culture, and its value important to others. Um, it's, Monterey is a very unique um, area, and the reason why we're reaching out to other areas um, is because everybody's really connected in the history of Monterey. And, you know, a lot of people from Monterey actually came from South County, or they went to Salinas on Sundays. And so you're going countywide more? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, in Asilomar, for instance, is a, a wonderful historic site and the buildings. And, you know, if we, if we follow the, the uh, uh, path to Asilomar, yeah. there's other areas in between that should also be incorporated. Cannery Row, Pacific Grove and all the way around, all the way to Carmel Mission. Yes, absolutely. And uh, hopefully they'll extend it all the way down to Big Sur, which would be... Which would be really fun. I'm going to, you know, right now, um, in fact, this week I'm sending out, um, uh, we're, we're entering a membership drive, and I've uh, accumulated about three pages of nonprofit cultural organizations that will be receiving the packet and hopefully become members. And Big Sur is it's definitely on the list. This is uh, outreach, and actually I I've, I've was uh, Historic Monterey before Pete Rarig took over my position. Oh, uh -huh. uh, I sat at a lot of those meetings, so I've, I've been sitting so there for, you understand. I, I, I know this uh, group well, quite it's, quite it's, well, and I've, I've watched it evolve, and I've watched it now evolve under your leadership, which has been great to see. But I, I think what is the, what is the audience? Is it a, I know that it's part for the tourist audience, sure. and it's part for the local community, and what's the mix there? The mix would be anybody in town and anybody who lives here. Um, earlier last month, in May, we had what we called a history hunt, which was a scavenger hunt, right. and it brought out a lot of residents, um, not just from Monterey, which was interesting. I talked to people from San Francisco that spend their weekends here, a woman from Carmel who's involved with the history of Carmel who's creating a history hunt there, and it was a scavenger hunt where people had two hours to visit historic sites, including public art, uh, adobes, um, it ran the gamut, and then they met here and turned in their paperwork, their test, and the person, the, pe the three people who got the most answers correct in two hours won prizes and became um, members of Historic Monterey. So it's that kind of outreach that we're trying to do to get people interested in, you know, it's all in your own backyard and you don't realize it. You know, uh, one woman said, 
I can't find the seagull sculpture. And I pointed out the front window of the museum and said, it's right there. She goes, I walk by that every day. Right. So, I mean, it's sometimes you have to have your eyes open exactly. to see what's in front of you. So we're trying to bring awareness. Um, I'm uh, planning another event for the end of July, which will be more of a fundraiser and will also, um, again, bring more awareness to Historic Monterey and what it is. Um, Historic Monterey actually started 14 years ago. Wow, it's been... It's been that long, and it's really amazing that um, the original partners are still involved and still working towards um, its goal of, of making this a really um, lucrative and uh, fun type of uh, organization and keeping the activities going. We're um, also in the midst of the first phase of creating a new website, which will be a, a, a wonderful addition for new members to link to our website to um, talk about their organizations. And so it's, it's just really bringing everybody together with the same goal. And then what I like, uh, again, part the city is a partner, and I like the, uh, the city commitment. Uh, Kim Bowie Burton is, there is no better person. Hi, Kim Bowie Burton. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, again, the city really is committed to its history, um, to, uh, again, increasing tourism. Mm -hmm. And again, it's been a, it's a wise move you know, for, for I, I know for several years it was constricted to a much smaller footprint. And, exactly. and, and that's the not the way, that's not right. the way the tourist behaves. They, right. they see the whole area. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I see this is a, a good development. And yeah. let, let's talk a little bit about you. How, what's your background and how did you get to this? Oh boy, what is my background? How far back would you like to go? Well, you, you've been here for, for quite a while. For quite a while. Um, for about 20 years, I was the museum and cultural coordinator for the city of Monterey. And I retired from that. And that's how, the reason why I was originally um, involved in establishing Historic Monterey 14 years ago. And um, then, when I turned 50, I decided I needed a change, and I retired from the city and took on the position of um, director of the Carmel Art Association for eight and a half years. And it, when I went into it, I said I would do it for five. And so I was there for eight and a half years. And then I left there, and I was going to once again try to retire, and that didn't work out very well. Um, I did it, put together a uh, plein air festival called Painting the Town as a volunteer for, um, as part of Art in the Adobes, and then the following year I managed that, and now I'm doing Historic Monterey, and I'm really enjoying it and catching up with a lot of people that I knew. and trying to make it all work out the best we can. You have a lot of history in the community. You yes. know the players. Well, I knew them. Let's put it that you, way. You, They've you, all changed. Many of them have yeah. changed, <laughs> but a lot of them are still there. Yeah, and, and again, so you're, you're well steeped in the place to take on this, this role because, again, it's been, um, again, one of these situations that's underfunded and well, and that's one of the biggest problems, yes. of course, is everybody's underfunded. And that's why Historic Monterey can work so well, because working together, you don't really need as much funding. And um, so that's, you know, it, it's pretty amazing that Historic Monterey has stayed together for this many years through all the ups and downs and fiscal difficulties that people are having and continue to have. You know, things have improved somewhat in some arenas, but not so much in the nonprofit area. So two things. First question, uh, a public that's interested in history, interested in uh, knowing more about the history, interested in, in promoting the history, how do they uh, reach out to you? How do they get involved? because it takes community involvement. It takes community involvement. Um, we, we have a volunteer training program, which I will be doing uh, at the end of this month, and people can sign up for that. Um, 
And it's going to be done a little bit different this time. Instead of actually being in a classroom setting, um, we're going to visit the sites and um, as a group. And then I will also be adding the element of public art and doing a tour of all the public art throughout downtown Monterey. So it should be pretty fun. And then uh, one of the great things about this is you are housed here at the Museum of yes. Monterey. And so I get to see you every day. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I feel that it's uh, having Historic Monterey in the building has strengthened our commitment to Definitely. not only the organization, but our commitment to the history. Mm -hmm. We have a, a fabulous collection upstairs. Oh, yes. uh, but also more important than that, we really want to dedicate ourselves to this conversation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and to the historians and to the idea as history as a living, breathing thing. So. And it's happening every day. And here behind you um, is the exhibit we're looking at in the room is from the uh, uh, Carmel Art Association, which is the uh, second oldest organization behind the Monterey History and Art Association. Exactly. So uh, this is all a, a coming, nice, coming home. And, a nice fit. And uh, so anyway, what, uh, just before we leave, what would you, in an ideal world, how would you like to see it all working out? I'm an optimist, and so um, I would like to see it, as I said earlier, expand Historic Monterey. Um, I know there's a lot of interest in Salinas organizations participating in things here and vice versa. Um, and there's just so many resources that can be shared. And so what I'm trying to do is bring those resources together and create a, a positive, collaborative that will continue to work together for many, many years. Give them the website. The website is historicmonterey.org. Historicmonterey.org. See, we'll do it a couple times. And let's I hope, I, hope I got that right. <laughs> let, let's do that again together. Yeah. Historicmonterey.org. Historic uh, my guest, Susan Klusmeyer, a pleasure. And we'll be back. Thank you, Mark. Soon.